These problems involve quadratic equations and we're going to try to find the maximum or the minimum value of these functions uh, for some real life purposes. So for example in this first one we have a, a formula for the demand for a product that's based on its price. It's been found that negative 3 times the price squared plus 534 times the price minus 280 is the function for the demand. That's how much um, uh, demand they get for the product. So what this manufacturer wants to do then once he's got this formula is figure out what is the price at which the demand is the greatest because then he can sell the most. Well what does that really mean? You'll notice this is a quadratic, it's got a p squared term here and it's got a negative coefficient. So this is a downward opening parabola. This function p is maximized right there at the vertex. So all we really need to do is find the x, or in this case the p value, for the vertex of this uh, function. So we can do that. It's negative b over 2a, so negative 534 over 2 times negative 3, that's negative 6. And I think if you do the division there, you get 89. So the price that maximizes this function is $89. So that one wasn't too hard. Let's try another one. This one's a little bit trickier. This one says a farmer has 2,264 feet of fencing available and wishes to enclose a rectangular area. If x is the width of the rectangle, for what value of x is the area largest? And this is basically asking, if you think about it, the extreme kinds of cases you could have. You could have a really long, skinny rectangle, or you could have something that's a lot more like a square. Those are the two extremes in this case. You can make all the sides as close to equal as possible or very far from each other. And the question is which one, which method, encloses the most area? Or maybe it's somewhere in between. We'll f I guess we'll find out. Well, to set this one up, we need to make the quadratic equation. And what we're trying to make is an equation for area. And area equals length times width, right? We're told here that x represents the width of the rectangle. So let's just draw another rectangle here, more kind of normal looking one. If x is the width, what is the length here? And we want to find it in terms of x. Well, if you think about it, we're, we've given, been given this number, 2,264. That's the length of all of these added up together. So if I took 2,264 and subtracted 2x, because there's an x over here as well, that would leave me with just the lengths, but since there's two of them, I'd have to divide that by 2. So that is our width. Now our, sorry, our length. Now our width is x, so I can just multiply that, and that is going to be our formula for the area of this rectangle. So let's go ahead and do the multiplication here. Um, Let's see, I think I can divide by 2 inside here and we'd get 1133 minus x. And then when we multiply the x through, we'd get 1133x. Oops, see, I copied the number wrong. It's actually 264. So that would be 1132x and um, minus x squared. And that is our area function. Now, this is a quadratic. And um, what we can do is say, what is the maximum value of this quadratic? And you'll, you'll notice that it's got a negative in front of the x squared sign, so this is a downward opening parabola again. And the maximum value of the function is going to be at the vertex. So let's find the vertex. We've got 1132 is our b, because that's the x term. So negative 1132 over 2a, and that's a negative 2. And when we do the division on that, we find we get 566 feet. And what you'll notice if you kind of have been paying attention is that is a perfect square. And if you have a, a rectangular shape and you want to get the most area covered for the least amount of fencing, make it a perfect square. So that's a little practice with word problems uh, with quadratic equations where the answer is a, a maximum.